today is 10-2-2015 at 9-21 p.m. on a Friday. Uh, I'm, I'm here to talk about um, the presidential candidates. <clears throat> And uh, this is my update on these uh, pres presidential candidates, even though that, um, <clears throat> in my mind, in my, my heart, my heart, <laughs> is all Donald Trump. I mean, he's the only person running that's even qualified to be president, as far as I'm concerned. Donald Trump is the only person qualified. Um, a lot of people say, oh, he's going to, he's going to, Push the button, right? Huh. Yeah, right. He's got so many reasons not to push the button, it's not even funny. I mean, if he was any of the other candidates, yeah, the, the, the button would be pretty close on hand and, and probably might even be pushed because they don't have as much as Trump has to stay alive. He's, he's a $12 billion, he, he, he's worth $12 billion. He has seven high-rise, these aren't just small chunk change buildings, these are high-rise golden to the max. High-rises, seven of them, in New York City alone, plus the casinos he owns and golf courses, not just one, not just two or three, golf courses in the United States and outside the United States. He does deals outside the United States all the time. The only thing different of becoming president because he's he's um he's president of many companies not just one or two he's, he's president of many companies plus his his own name is a brand name so you know uh and then people are saying oh he's gonna he's gonna push the button he's got so many reasons not to push the button over everybody else running it's not even funny He's a, he's a multi-billionaire. He's in laptop of, lap of luxury. He, he, owns a, he owns at least one jet. If not, I don't know how many you know, jets he owns, but, you know. But, um, and plus all the high-rises, the casinos, the golf courses. Come on, man. This guy is president of many companies. Many companies. He doesn't even, he doesn't do any of the work. He has it, he has it farmed out. <clears throat> And uh, same thing with the president. That's the way a president works. He doesn't do any of the work. All he does is fly here to there and uh, talk about what he's going to be doing. But any anyway, and Donald Trump does the same thing. And right now today, uh, many companies, not just one. He, he's president of many companies, not just one. He's, he's stepping down and become president. The president only makes 330 um, thousand dollars a year, three hundred thirty thousand dollars. That's like a third of a million dollars. Come on, he makes millions a year, if not billions. He's worth twelve billion dollars, and you don't become, you don't, you don't be worth twelve billion dollars and not know what the hell you're doing. Okay, people say, well, the skeleton in his closet is bankruptcy. It's like three or four times, right? Who? Oh, he's never ever ever filed personal bankruptcy never he's never filed personally personal bankruptcy the the bankruptcy he, he filed his the bankruptcies he filed was business business is business and if bankruptcy wasn't there then he couldn't use it could he he's just staying he's just thinking like a businessman okay now um he got into a deal that didn't work. I mean, how, how many of you got into a deal that didn't work? I've got into a lot of them. That's why I'm in this apartment now. Okay, so how many of you got into a business that didn't work? And he just did what he could to do it legally. Another thing about Donald Trump. I don't know if you know this or not about the button. You know about oh he's gonna push the button. He's gonna push the button. I don't want him buying the button. <laughs> Why? 
He's got the most reasons of any candidate running today not to push that button. Not excluding his kids. I think he's got like five kids that are above age. But um, he's got like three different. He's been divorced a couple times. I think three different, two or three different times he's divorced. Business is business, man. If the wife can't, and this is the reason why he, Donald Trump said that he got divorced the times he did, because he's a businessman, and the wives the wives can't take you know him being where he needs to be to do deals. That's the reason why he's been divorced. Not you know, and he says he's the cause of it, and, and it's because of the businesses. So that you know. Donald, Donald Trump is like, uh, like President Lincoln, Abraham. You know, he's 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 just like Abraham Lincoln, in that, you know, he he tells the truth. But with Donald Trump, he can back everything he says. Um, everything he says, like when he says uh, Hillary Clinton was the worst Secretary of State ever on record, that's what he said. Let me say that again. Hillary, Hillary Clinton was the worst Secretary of State ever in the history of the United States. Uh, I'm not sure why you even vote for uh, Hillary Clinton because, um, okay, let's don't look at, let's don't even look at that. Okay, let's look at her husband, Bill Clinton. He ran, he ran for president, or he was president for eight years, right? Eight years. Okay, now. The economy didn't get any worse, or not that much worse, when, when he was in, in president. But, but the problem is, is the, the, United States, the United States was fed up with uh, President Bill Clinton. They were fed up with him. Matter of fact, the Senate impeached Bill Clinton fully. The only thing that had to happen to get him kicked out of office is to have a, a legal impeachment. And a Senate impeachment isn't a legal impeachment. So... I, I just learned this stuff because I'm going, what, what does impeachment mean? President, uh, uh, Bill, President Bill Clinton never left office. He never missed a day of office. He never missed any work at all. And he was fully impeached by the Senate. I'm going, what the hell does impeachment mean then if he doesn't leave office? Okay, so I looked it up. I understand it now. It's the Senate. All this, the, Senate's, the Senate voted you know, impeachment. And proved impeachment on two counts, uh, one on the um, Lewinsky case, and one on uh, lying under oath in the, the highest the highest court of land. Bill Clinton lied under oath, and Hillary Clinton's the same way. She's a she's the biggest liar that you're gonna, you know, not not the biggest. Uh, Car Carly, what's her name? Carly uh, for. Fernan, Fernanda, whatever her name, last name is. So it like, looks like a foreign name to me. But anyway, <laughs> Carly, Carla, uh, Fernanda, Fernanda. Uh, I found out. Okay, she's she she was uh, like the like the CEO CEO of Hewlett Packard or HP, um, you know, computer company, and. You know uh, everything they do with computers, like printers and stuff like that. She was the CEO, CEO of it, and she was saying in the GOP, she, she was saying how she, you know, first off she she laid off 10,000 people, and uh, in Hewlett Packard, and then she said, oh oh yeah, I did that, but uh, I came back and I came back strong, right, and, and jumped the stock up way high, you know. I don't remember that. I watch the stock. I, I don't remember that at all. I don't remember HP jumping, like she said, and how, how they came back strong and how they overcame everything. They never overcame. They never even came back strong. They never, and Donald Trump pointed that out. And he, he's got the paperwork to prove it. So, you know, that, that Carly, that Carly woman is just as bad as Hillary Clinton, if not worse. They're liars. They, they talk like this through their face. You know, they're a liar. Carly's a, Carla's, or Carly is the biggest liar I've seen so far. 
ever running for president. She tried to she tried to say that on the GOP. She tried to say that 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 company, HP or Hewlett Packard, she brought around. Ah, she came after she fired ten thousand people. She she brought it back around and it was like that. She she was trying to say it was like the highest stock around. I watched the stock. I never heard. I never saw that. I never even heard of that. What kind of bullshit is she pulling? Really? What kind of bullshit is Carly, Carla, Carly, <laughs> uh, CEO, CEO of Hewlett Packard who got fired? She got fired. Um, you know, if she brought the company around, why would they fire her? Shit. They'd give her a raise if she did that. If she really did that. Well, she's a liar. She's a, one of these people that talk to her cyber face and she's a liar. And if you ever watch her, if you ever watch her talking, I, I learned this through watching the GOP for three hours. I watched the full version on U YouTube. And I learned this. <laughs> I learned this on, on Carly, man. She talks like a robot. She talks like a robot. No joke. Just, just watch her. She, she talks like a robot. Like, like she, she's not even... Like she's not even there. She's da 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 ba 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 ba, you know, and that's it. Really, she she talks like a robot. I don't know if she's hypnotized or what. God, she talks like a robot. There ain't no way I'd vote for her. The only person, the only person I'd vote for, her, and the only the only reason I even follow this this uh, presidential presidential campaign this year, their 2016, is because of Donald Trump, and. And I learned a lot. I learned a lot just just watching his um, campaign on the on the United States. A lot. He, if you watch him and listen to him, he's a very smart man. He's a genius. Donald Trump is a genius. He knows he knows a lot more about a lot of subjects than most most people. Not just the candidates, but most people. He's a genius. Donald Trump is. And um, I'm going. Okay. So that's that's kind of what I got to say about Carly. I can't believe it. She's like Clinton. She's like Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton. They're all liars. They talk to the side of her mouth like this, so so that you can't understand them, or or going off on tangents, and and they're lying about it. They're li They're liars. Hillary Clinton and and uh, Carly liars. Bill Clinton's a liar. Hell, he was impeached. Okay, so we've had two Clintons, and you know we could. Uh, Hillary is a Secretary of State, right? And, and uh, we had Bill Clinton as president for eight years. And in the United States, people wanted him out of office. He would have been kicked out of office <laughs> if he had been stayed there very much longer. And, you know, he was impeached, fully impeached by the Senate. And two things were proven on that. Two things, two things were proven. And that's, um, Bill Clinton was a liar under oath. And, uh, so what do you call that? Call that perjury? Uh, that's one charge, and then another charge was um, the Lewinsky case. He, it was in, improper conduct. <laughs> it's improper sexual conduct within the White House or something like that. You don't want Bill Clinton in there, and you don't want Hillary Clinton in there. <laughs> I mean, they're like the same. I mean, and then then you got Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> you really want Joe Biden? I mean, he hasn't—he isn't running right now, but you know, he's just thinking of it. And he's got a lot of people saying, "Yeah, go ahead and run." Joe Biden. You know, the only reason he'd want win is for for people being sorry for him because his son died. I think it was uh, can some kind of cancer. I think his son died, and um, that's the only—that's the only reason why he. Joe Biden even would have a chance of running for president. Do you really want? Do you really want Obama? Do you really want Obama Jr. Joe Biden running? <laughs> I don't think so. And uh, oh, John McCain. I, I, well, I used to be. I like John. I like John McCain because he's you know he's a war hero. Or at least that's what they say. And Donald Trump said he wasn't because he was captured. You don't like people who's captured. But that's not the total reason though. That uh, Donald Trump is against John McCain. That's not the total reason. 
John McCain's in a high office. He's, he's a senator. He's in a high office, and he, he does nothing for the military. He does nothing for the military, man. Look at it now. Look how what kind of crappy shape they're in. They're waiting days on end to, to get. And they, they should be first in line. Joe Biden, he, he has no pull. He's a senator. He either has no pull or he don't care. He's, he's the warrior, I guess. And that's it. That's where it stops. Don't, you know, don't, you know, all the rest of them, they're just people got hurt in action, I guess. Uh, so that's a big flaw on John, John McCain, man. If he was really the war hero he says he is, and what his record shows he is, then why doesn't he do anything for these people? Why, why doesn't he do anything for these, these uh, war veterans? So Donald Trump is once again right, and he can prove it by paperwork and history. Okay, he isn't just saying stuff. He doesn't just say stuff. Look it up. You can look it up. You got the internet. If you're watching this video, you probably got the internet somewhere. But um, okay, Jeb Bush. <laughs> now this guy's a joker. Um, Jeb Bush. I guess uh, I guess he's the brother of um. um Bush, or son, he's the son of the, the one Bush we had, and then a brother of the other, a brother of uh, the president of Bush. Um, but Jeb Bush, <laughs> you really want another Bush in there? Okay, nine one one happened. Okay, wait a minute. Before I say that, this is what Jeb Bush says. Oh, American people were very safe when when my brother was in president. American people were very safe. From who? We weren't safe from from the president, from Bush the president. You know what? You know who orchestrated 911? It wasn't Bin Laden. It was the United States. You know why? I found this out. The World Com Building. The World Com Building went down. Okay, it went down just just as low, just as low as the the Trade Center, the two Trade Center. It went down. Why? Nothing hit it. Nothing. Nothing hit the World Trade Center. Nothing. And this is like you know not as big as the World Trade. It's like you know, ten stories high, fifteen or whatever whatever stories high it is. The World Trade Building went down. Or I mean, World Com building, not World. The World Com, World Com, which is right around there. Um, you know, within block or so of the building, another building. It went down, and it went down. It imploded. It imploded. It imploded just like the trade, the trade center did. Huh? Wonder why that is. And nothing hit it. Nothing even came close to hitting it. And it went down just as much, just just like the other ones did. You know why? Because the the world the WorldCom uh, there was the WorldCom scam, and the only way they can correct the WorldCom scam, you know, not leaving a lot of paperwork behind or trail or um, you know um, you know computer stuff behind. The you know, the only way they could do that is if that building did implode. And they had to have a reason, though. They had to have a reason, so that, so the American people would buy it. Okay, I think we lost two thousand lives that day, and that's to include firefighters and, and policemen and everybody else in the building, because these these buildings were high rise, very high rise, and there was two of them. People were jumping out of the building, and body parts were flying all up. Man, come on, okay. And, and Jeb Bush had the nerve, Jeb Bush has the nerve to say that the United States people were safe when 911 happened on, on um, Bush's, uh, Bush um, presidency under his watch, let's say, like Chris Christie, Chris Christie says. Okay, he'll never make him president. Thank God for that. Whew. Um, but uh, I ain't going to talk about him. Uh, no need to. But, um, 
Jeb Bush, Jeb Bush had the nerve to say the United States people were, were saying, huh, why did, why did uh, what, 2,000 people die that day then? On 911? Why? We were safe? What the hell is he talking about? He's not one of these guys go like this and they're liars like a motherfucker. We don't need, we don't need Jeb, Jeb Bush. Not, we don't need another Bush, let's put it that way, in president. Okay, I'm kind of done with that. Now, Dr. Ben Carson. Wow, man, he's a great doctor. He, I mean, he's like a top-of-line brain brain neurologist, I guess, brain and back doctor or something like that, Kid for kids, for you know, kids. He's a great doctor. He's probably one of the best around. I say stay a doctor, you know, uh, he, he's retired now, but um, that's, that's uh, Dr. Ben Carson. I watched him on the GOP. Okay, if you don't want the button pushed, vote for him. Go ahead and vote for him. And you'll see a sorry America. America will become a lot weaker. And we'll just go more in debt. Because this guy, this guy, um, Ben Carson, Ben Carson, he, he doctor, let me, Dr. Ben Carson, because he, he deserves that title. He's a great doctor. He, he deserves a title. And God, yeah, you know, an Afro-American Afro doctor, man. It's on the top of the scale of doctors. That's a great accomplishment. Great. And um, people are going to vote for him because he did it, con, con, what it was, conjoin, conjoin twins or something like that and separation. Okay, he did that. Great. But you're gonna you're gonna vote for him on a on deck on a, on an operating table. You're gonna vote for him when he, you know something could have really went wrong, but it didn't, which is great. I guess it's great because the kids are probably messed up. So we got instead of one kid messed up, we got two kids messed up. But hey, that's not Dr. Ben Carson's concern. His concern is life, and, and it's keeping life and and separating these two, and making them more healthy than, healthy than they were. And he did that. He's great. But the problem with him is, he's a very passive person. Very passive. He says, oh, oh we, could just, uh, let's, let, we could just talk about this for you know, a few more months. Not going to war, right? Not, and spend five days and get rid of the problem right now. Um, uh, we could just talk about this for the next two years, three years, until I'm not a president again. Uh, you know, he's a very passive president, or not president, very passive person, period. And, you know, as far as being a doctor, you don't have to be that because, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're that or not because, you know, usually it's not on red line all the time. You know, your life is not on red line right now all the time. You know, and then if it is, he knows what to do. Okay, so so in that respect, he's great. He's a great person, Dr. Ben Carson. He's great, and uh, in the operating room, as far as running America, I don't think so. He's too passive. He's way too passive. And you you won't ever push the button. I'll guarantee. I, I almost guarantee you that. If you want someone that's never going to push the button, there's your man. He's too passive, though. We'd be we we would be. There would be another, there would be another um, Hiroshima where, where we were being bombed on our, on our land before he would even attempt to, before he would think about, this is still going to be passive though, still going to think about it and tell him the bomb blown up right next to him in the White House. Then, then bam, yeah, he'll push it. <laughs> but other than, aside from that, that scenario, he ain't going to push it. If you, if, you, if, you, if you want a person who's not going to ever push the button ever, and there won't be no threat of it. Um, vote for Dr. Ben Carson. He's your man. But we'll, we're going to go more in debt. Anybody other than Donald Trump, anybody that other than Donald Trump, we're going to go more in debt. All our jobs are leaving. Shit, I didn't work. I haven't had a good job in over, let's see, 2005 was the last time I had a good job. And today is 10 2 
2015. So you figured out. What's that? Decade? Now, if you want to create jobs, Donald Trump tells you tells you how he's going to do it. Ford ain't going to move. Ford ain't going to move to Mexico. Nabisco ain't going to stay in Mexico. Uh, all these other companies, they're coming back. Donald Trump. He's always telling you how he's going to do it. There's no mystery there. He's telling you like a five-year-old. As if you were a five-year-old. He's telling you how he's going to do it. But he won't reveal his military plans because he's smart. He don't want the enemy to know what he's going to do or what he's possibly going to do. That, that really got me before. Like he said, when, when, when we went into Iraq, we're going to say, we're going to say, we're going to strike here, here, here. We're telling the enemy where we're going to be, and we did it. But we were so powerful and so high where they couldn't even reach us. It didn't matter because that was like a, what, a weak war. And it, it wouldn't even be a week to take out ISIS. I'll guarantee you. These people, you know, they're military people, but against our, our military, there's no way. There's no way they're going to last more than a week. They'd be running hiding and there'd be a bunch of Ben Laden's around. And there'd be a bunch of Ben Laden's and um, Hussein's. Hussein's, you know, hiding, hiding in bunkers <laughs> with the spiders and, and, and the other animals. It'd be <laughs> no joke. After the first couple of days, they'd see what we can do. Shit. Come on. I, ISIS are cowards. They got people strapped with their hands behind their back. Nothing they can do. And sometimes even their, their feet shake them, nothing they can do, and, and cut their head off. Oh man, what's that showing? What is that showing? That's showing you they're a coward. They're the biggest coward in the, in, in the world. ISIS. ISIS are the biggest cowards in the world. Shit. And you want to see them cowering? You want to see a coward cowering? Get Donald Trump in there. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why Donald Trump will never push the button. He never will. And people are saying, oh, he's so jittery on that button. <laughs> That's what they're saying. I'm going, why? And they think they don't, he doesn't have any military experience behind him, but he does. Did you know that Donald Trump started military school when he was at the age of 13? So what's that, 7th grade? 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. Come on, 6 years right there. How long does the uh, military stay is? 3, 4 years? He's got six years already, and he's got the intelligence of six, of six years. Not just the physical ability, but the intelligence. This is school. This is, this is military school. Okay, he's got since age thirteen. Look it up. I don't make this shit up. Look it up. I'm like Donald Trump. I'm I'm just like Donald Trump, except I don't have the money. <laughs> like I said, I ain't worked in ten years. So I can't say I'm just like him because he's a hard working motherfucker. But um, matter of fact, he says he only gets like six hours sleep a night. I mean, because he, he's got he's got things on his mind, you know, and he's got to get things done. Don't you want a president like that? Shit, I do. But anyway, he he started he started military school at age thirteen. So anybody that says he don't have military experience is stupid, and they don't know what they're doing. Oh, I'm talking, I'm talking like Donald Trump again. They're stupid, and they don't know what they're doing, and they're fired. See, I'm talking like Donald Trump again, but anyway, that's my update on the presidential candidates, and those are the only possible, and they're not even possible in my mind. The only reason I even follow this debate is because I'm, I'm following Donald Trump because I like to learn about the United States. And he's, he's a very smart man. He's a genius. And who better can I learn from than Donald Trump? Isn't that the type of person you want in, in office? You know, this guy could be a teacher if you wanted to be on uh, history. Jeez. I can't even believe how smart this dude is. I'm amazed every time I watch any one of his videos. He's got hundreds of them, but, you know, for his campaign. I can't believe it. I watched one last night. It was great. <laughs> anyway, I better shut it off, and I, ho I hope you guys vote for the right man. Uh, I know the only person that I would even go to the polls for 
or, or I would even go to the voting booth for is Donald Trump and always has been even before he started to run when he even suggested he was going to run two three months before he ran I was already posting videos for him <laughs> so look you know don't take my word for it just look, look in my past videos you'll see this is going to be a landslide by Donald Trump guarantee I'll guarantee that if it isn't the American people people are stupid and they don't know what they're doing and they, they have no idea who they want so they just go in there and push a button buttons okay that person won that this person doesn't do that I know thoroughly who I'm gonna vote for and I knew I knew before anybody else started running I mean before Donald Trump even started running I knew I wanted to vote for him just for, for his background oh well, this is what I want to say I want to say uh, he, he, I think I, I think I got off on the rest of my video here before I told you but um see Don Trump is already president of many companies many companies you know for for like the golf courses the, the high rise he owns the casinos he owns you know and whatever else he owns he's got seven high rises in New York City alone not to mention two or three casinos you know and, and you know three or four golf courses one outside the United States uh, probably more like five or six I'm not sure he's got a lot of golf courses a lot of land He's a real estate developer, what can I say? But, since he's president of all these companies, why not just take that pres president badge off, put a United States president on him? What's the difference? He's going to have influence on the United States, whether he's in president or not. He's worth $12 billion. He's going to have influence on the United States, no matter what you do. It doesn't matter if he gets president or not. He's going to have influence on the United States. He's worth $12 billion. But what's the difference of him being president of, you know, a lot of companies? Um, or the United States, or both? What's the difference? No, there ain't no difference. He's, he's, taking, he's taking a pay cut. You know, he's taking a drastic pay cut. I mean, 100,000 times less than he could make on his own. He's already proved it. 1,000 times less. Why is he running? He wants to make America great again. That's all I got to say.